Did you know that Cura Slicer lets you control where the seam is on a 3D print? I'll show you how to do that on today's Film It Friday. Film It Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. Let's start with a simple chep cube on an Ender 3 bed. It's got four corners and I want to put a seam on the various corners. Now, if I use my standard profiles and search on seam, you'll see I have it set to sharpest corner and smart hiding. And this actually works most of the time. So if you slice it, you'll see that it's scattered, the seam is scattered all over the print, it's trying to hide it as best it can. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. But what if I wanted it all on one corner so I could just sand it down and get rid of it? Well, there's a way to do that in Cura. You go to user specified, and then you can control where it's positioned. You've got back, left, back, back, right, right, front, right, front, front, left, left. And it's got coordinates here that you can actually change. So let's take a look at the under three bed. And Kira believes it's 220 by 220. So the center is X0, Y0. But the left front corner is minus 110X, minus 110Y. The back left corner is minus 110X, but positive 110Y. The back right corner is positive 110, both X and Y. And then the front right corner is positive X110 and negative Y110. The seam corner preference has multiple drop down options. If you hover over it, it'll explain what those options are. I'm going to use the none because I don't want any outside influence of where I put this seam. I want to position it at the right front. So that's 110X minus 110Y. So we slice it. And there it is, the seam's right in the corner where I want it. Nice straight seam, so I could sand that out and do whatever. And here it is printed. You can see it bulges slightly in that corner, but the other corners all look pretty good. So now let's put it in a different position. Let's put it at the front left, which is minus 110, minus 110, X and Y. After slicing, it's right there on the left front corner. If we switch to back left, which is minus 110 and positive 110, Y, it's right there at the back of the chep. If I turn this, there's the front, the X is the front, so we got the back left corner. Now let's try the back right just to make sure it all works. 110 and 110, back right corner. And there it is at the corner of the Y in the back right corner. But what if we have a cylinder? Can we do the same thing with a cylinder? Well, yes, you can. So let's say I just want to put it right in the middle. So I'm going to go front, right in the front, so it's zero for the X and minus 110 for Y. And there it is, right in the middle of the cylinder, right in the front. Now, this doesn't have corners, but the X and Y still affect the position of the seam. So if I go front left, like we did with the chep cube, it's over here on the left, which would be the corner, it lines up at the corner of the bed. If I go front right, it does the same thing, but on the opposite side of the cylinder. But what if I want to be in between the middle and this corner, or essentially what's corner of the bed, say right here? I do that just by changing the X and Y coordinates. In fact, in this case, only the X coordinate. I'll change it to 55. Slice it, and now it's shifted over a little bit. What if I want to come over a little bit more? Let's just reduce that 55 down to 35. And now I can position it a little closer to center, but not centered. So you can move it pretty much wherever you want. Now those were pretty simple, but if I use a shooting Iron Man statue, I use sharpest corner and smart hiding. You can see it's scattered all over this model. Now if I use the user specified, I can actually position the seam more to the back of the model like this. It's not perfect, but it's much easier to clean that up than what's on the front. And if I compare the fronts, it's slightly better on the user specified. There's still some there, but it's slightly better than the smart hiding. Smart hiding does work well on most prints. It's why I default my profiles to using it. But being able to position the seam on a corner or in a certain position of a cylinder, which is going to have a seam no matter what you do, sometimes it's nice to be able to do that and then you can sand it out or make it the way you want it to look. So having that option in Cura is very handy. So try it out and let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or just buy through the affiliate links in the description below. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.